23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Brenda Rose. Here's a look at what we're following this morning. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky clearing the way for millions of people to get a third shot of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. The CDC voting to approve boosters for those 65 years and up and people with medical conditions that put them at high risk. Walensky expanding that approval for those working in high risk settings like hospital workers, teachers and child care workers. Experts say it's rare for the CDC director to go above the advisory committee. This was the right move by CDC Director Walensky to look at the scenario and say, you know what, those people who are actually exposed to COVID-19 on a daily basis, such as those working in ER, deserve to have the, the eligibility to get boosters alongside a 20 year old who may have asthma or be a smoker and work at home and never see COVID-19. So yes, it's a rare move, but it was a necessary one. There's no information on when booster shots could be approved for Americans who receive the Moderna or Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Health officials say they're already making plans to give out those booster shots. California's Health and Human Services director saying the rollout will look similar to the state's previous vaccination efforts. Booster shots will be available at pharmacies and primary care providers. Some larger counties are planning to reopen mass vaccination sites. Here's Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. Good morning. So as we were talking about that smoke yesterday, look at the ash falling in Kernville there on the hood of that truck and here on this patio furniture by resident Carol Williams up there. So obviously they are much closer to the scene of these major fires where the ash is coming down. The smoke has been bad for several weeks in a row, but all of Kern County experiencing this really bad smoke, including here on the valley floor where it is unhealthy for everyone with our air quality today at 171 on the index and air quality alert in effect through Monday. The Valley Air District saying you should stay inside and filtered air conditioning. Watch out for susceptible groups, anyone with sensitive lungs, but that includes young children and the elderly. You want to take care of them as we have some hazy, smoky 90s today, tomorrow and into Sunday. Now, the Futurecast does show some cooling coming. We could have some more fall like 70s by next Wednesday. And that's your news and weather update.